Leprechauns, gnomes, and fairies enter into a world in miniature, a world created by the brain. We all know that the brain is capable of hallucinating. It can happen when we take psychotropic drugs or even when we have a high fever. But did you know that hallucinations can take on sensorial identities? What I'm talking about here are hallucinations that can take on different dimensions like tactile sensations. So you could have a giant cactus rubbing up against your cheek or you could even hallucinate flavors like an orange marmalade and bubblegum sandwich. And if someone were to undergo fMRI brain scanning while hallucinating, you could look at that brain scan and you could see something like the fusiform gyrus lighting up. And this would tell you that that person is hallucinating about a face. They were definitely looking at some sort of configuration of two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. But did you know that there is a very specific type of hallucination that deals with the world in miniature? And it is called a Lilliputian hallucination. It's a bit of a weak link in something we call perceptual constancy. This is the sort of continuity that our brains and our eyes make out of the elements from the physical world around us. So if there's a fork and a plate in front of me and my eyes are moving between them, my brain is working behind the scenes to figure out that shape and that scale between those items. When I look at these items, when I flip between them, I don't want them to look insanely large or small. I need that visual constancy. So a Lilliputian hallucination, also called micropesia or Alice in Wonderland syndrome, is all about how objects appear really, really small. And it has really nothing to do with the mechanics of the eye. Rather, the hallucination is brought on by the data and our misinterpretation of it. The cause for data misinterpretation interpretation is varied. It's anything from delirium tremens from alcohol withdrawal to eyesight problems like macular degeneration. So what kinds of tiny hallucinations do people see? So one man who was experiencing delirium tremens thought that foot high men and women with overly large eyes and mouths were weakening him by drinking his blood. An 80 year old woman complained that there were little people who were dressed in blue and green leaves hiding in her cupboard. Ah, but her chief complaint was that they liked to watch her undress. Her cognitive functions were fine, but it was found that she had impairments in her visual field. And something like this really points to this tenuous hold that our visual machinery has on reality. I mean, you tinker with something just a little bit and all that data that your brain is trying to take in and make sense of, well, it reconfigures it. Suddenly, a little peeping toms or adorable tiny bloodsuckers appear at your side. So hundreds and hundreds of years of stories featuring gnomes and fairies and leprechauns. Do you think that these creatures came from the mind of a Lilliputian hallucinator? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.